Welcome to Unique Instrumentation Channel. Now we can discuss about DCS connections. We have thousands of field transmitters installed in a process plant. So it is practically difficult to lay straight individual cables from each field transmitter to control room for displaying the process variables on the workstation. As per design standards, Particular number of field devices or transmitters are wired and terminated in a field junction box. Cables used for connecting the field device to junction box are called as branch cables or field cables. Generally, we use one pair cables for branch cables. Five field devices are connected to a junction box using individual branch cables. For carrying out these five signals to control room, we need minimum five pair cable, means one cable have five pairs and also we have to consider spare cable requirement for future purpose. So at least six pair cable or twelve pair cable best suitable for our requirement. So we choose twelve pair cable and is nothing but a main cable or home run cable as it interfaces the field junction box and marshalling cabinet in the control room. So finally one big main cable is required for our purpose. Next we discuss about field instruments to junction box. In a process plant, we have so many junction boxes installed and connected with number of field devices. Say we have 100 number of junction boxes installed. That means we have 100 number of main cables are coming from field to control room. So practically it is not possible to directly wire these main cables to analog input or output cards. To avoid these problems we use marshalling cabinet for terminating these 100 number of main cables. Marshalling cabinet main purpose is to provide main cables termination and then redistribute the field devices to respective analog input or output card using internal wiring. Internal wiring will be used to connect from marshalling cabinet to system cabinet. And next we discuss about wiring between marshalling and system cabinets. System cabinet consists of processor card CPU, analog input cards, analog output cards, communication cards etc. Once main cables are terminated in marshalling cabinet, we have to take these field devices to the respective analog input card channel. So we use internal wiring to route these main cables or field devices from marshalling to system cabinet. Once the main cables are connected to the analog input card via internal wiring, and it converts the 4 to 20 milliamps which is coming from field devices into equivalent digital signal in binary codes and the same will be communicated to processor card. The processor card performs as per the predefined or programmed instructions. The processor card may have inbuilt or separate Ethernet communication link which is used to display the measured process variables on the workstation. Thanks for watching this video.